The latest Portsmouth shooting happened on Elm Avenue, leaving a 19-year-old Devon Coleman with life-threatening injuries. A Portsmouth resident who lives near Elm Avenue says he heard several gunshots in the area. Last night, it came through here, and it went through, and it went out the other window. Cecil and his wife were enjoying a quiet movie night at home when a bullet went through their house. I was laying on the couch. Actually, it literally went over me, and I looked. And I rolled on the floor because I, I could hear the shots. Cecil and his wife moved to the area eight years ago. We had gunshots every night. And say the neighborhood is quite different from when he first moved to the area. We were feeling pretty positive that we you know, picked the right neighborhood. And now <laughs> I'm ready to leave. The latest shooting has disturbed Cecil and his wife's peace of mind. We have to repair some of this stuff in order to sell it. If I could leave tomorrow, I would. Police are still looking for a suspect and a black van that may have been involved. And anyone that actually know my wife, me and my wife, know that we don't mess with anyone. Wave, speak, you ride by. The city of Portsmouth is leaning on the community to help bring down the number of shootings. We're doing a lot of different things to try and curb gun violence. One way is through our violence interrupters. They're already known in the community and they're out there and they're helping people find out what resources are available, talking to youth about um, communication and how to navigate some of the feelings that they're having. The violence interrupters have been in place for four months now, providing resources for Portsmouth neighborhoods. The Portsmouth Police Department says reaching youth at a young age and partnering with grassroots organization is one way the city is addressing gun violence. In Portsmouth, Leandra Head, News 3.